Okay, this is the most dreaded one, right? Now we know that it's a piece of iron and that it's water, right? And we can look up iron. Iron is 450 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius, right? Water is 4186 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius, right? Um, and we want to find the final equilibrium temperature. So this is uh, a little bit hard, but not too hard, okay? Ultimately, the way it works is that there's going to be some final temperature, and I'll just call it T, okay? But these are both going to go toward, right? I'm going to call this the temperature of the iron and um, Ti, right? I'll call it Ti, and then Tw will be the temperature that the water is at, which is, what, 18 degrees or something, right? And, then, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to go uh, 0 0.250, heat loss by the hot stuff, right, times 450, Right, and then it's going to be 95 minus that T that we're trying to find. Right, that's the equilibrium temperature. So the change in temperature is uh, unknown. Right, we don't know what the, the final temperature is. Right, and then that's going to equal uh, 0.512 times 4186 times, and then it, for this guy, the, the T is going to be the high temperature. Right. All right, so whatever the equilibrium temperature is, it's going to be between 95 and 18, right? So this is going to be a positive number. It's going to be bigger than 18 because that's what the water starts at, right? And then all we really have to do is solve for T, which isn't that hard. Um, at this point, you can just stab the numbers in and, uh, and just solve away. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve it without putting the symbols in there, right? So I'm going to go mass of the iron, C of the iron, right? T of the iron minus T, right, equals mass of the water, C of the water, uh, and then I'm going to go T minus T of the water, right, and then if we bust this out, we get M I C I T I minus M I C I T equals M W C W T minus M W. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy over here, right, and this guy over here, right. Take that, put it over there, take this guy, put it over there. I'm going to do like a little do-si-do, -do, right, and I get uh, M-I-C-I-T-I -I plus M-W-C-W -W equals um, M -one, M -I -C -I -T plus M W, C, W, T, right? Uh, and I did that because I want to get the terms with T on the same side because, of course, my next step is uh, there's a really happy ending to this, so just bear with me. Okay, um, that's going to equal T outside of mass of the iron, C of the iron, plus, whoops, that's <laughs> supposed to be an M. MWCW, right? Okay, and now what I can do is I can divide both sides by this, right? And I get that the temperature equals And I learned this when I did so many of these problems. Apparently, whoops, that's a C. Make that a CI plus Okay, if you look at this, you should recognize this as a weighted average, right? I'm averaging Ti and Tw, right? Ti is uh, 95 and Tw is 18, right? And I'm averaging those. The weights that they have are their mass and their specific heat, and that should make sense, right? Mass times specific heat is the amount of heat needed to you know, change at a degree Celsius. Um, and so when I do this, this is going to be... Uh, what, 0 0.250, right, times, um, let's see, C of iron is 450, right, times, uh, the original temperature is 95. And, and they're all, they always end up that way. If there's, if there's four different things that are mixed together at different temperatures, <coughs> it's always MC, the original temperature, MC, the original temperature. And then you always divide by the, by, uh, the sum of the masses times specific heats. Okay, um, and so I never, I never actually solved this math ever.
because I know the answer. Okay, so let's see, 0.512, right, 4186, and uh, 18, and then we're going to divide that by um, 0.25 times 450, right, plus uh, 0.512 times 4186, right? And now I just go for it. Let's see. Make sure you put the, the numerator in parentheses, you know, and then the entire denominator in parentheses. Or if you've got that fancy new upgrade for the TI-84, uh, do it with a fraction, right? Okay, so parentheses 0.25 times 450 times 95 plus 0.512 times 4186 times 18. And now I'm right parenthesis ending the top the numerator, starting the denominator divided by 0 0.25 times 450, 0.512 times. Okay. I get 21.84 degrees Celsius, which is what I got. Okay. So in general, in general, right? It's the, the solution for the temperature is M1, C1, T1 plus M2, C2, T2 plus M3, C3, T3, dot, 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 right? Divided by M1, C1 plus M2, C2 plus M3, C3, right? Dot, 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 right? Indefinitely, right? Hope you're having a good day. What do I say at the end of a video? It's like, well, that's it. I hope you got it.